Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Affinity for the 3DS Part 24. And today we will hopefully finish up the Glacier Palace, maybe. I don't know how much more there is, but let's go. Oh god, start off fighting that Tertoga thing. Uh, take down. Confusion! Haha! Yeah, we're gonna leave that box there. Hey, we got a Max Elixir. Uh oh, Zorua. Rock Tomb! Oh, Rock Tomb can't hit from an angle, huh? Then we'll do Ember. Go! Dunspar screwed to level 28. Yay, learns a new move. Hopefully it's a good one. Glare! Nice! Paralysis. Uh, take down to keep it for stab. Ancient Power is interesting, but I don't know if I want to really keep that. Yawn for sleep could be good, but it's delayed effect. Eh, let's get rid of Yawn. Claire's gonna be better overall, I think. Yeah, Dunspark's got a beastly move with that. Uh, let's go up here. Oh god, another Tortoga. Rock Tomb! Drop that speed so I get another hit. Take down! Boom! Okay, did good there. Now let's go. Actually, let me give Rock Tomb to uh, XU also, if I didn't already teach him it. No, I did not. Uh, Slash, Dragon Rage, Dual Chop. Uh, what do I want to do here? Let's give it a Dragon Rage. Is really, it's not going to get any stronger than what it is already. It's only it's going to be doing 30 damage no matter what, so. Alright, Ember, go! Ponyard wants to join the team. Sure. Even though I'm probably never going to use him. New members are always welcome, though. Alright, now we're going to send them back to base. And off he goes! Now let's see if we can find the staircase. Not gonna find it up here. Long winding path. Let's go down here. And that way. And up. Alright, so much for that. Rock Tomb. Slow you down. Burn. Alright, now we just keep going down this path. Yes. Walk, 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 up. Come back here, Rex, you. Oh, you freaking enemies attacking from behind. Again. The most annoying thing that happens. I'm gonna summon them back. Come on, get out of here. Die. Stupid Zorua. Burn. Alright, Roll Coal Orb. That could be useful for later. And nothing in here. Alright, stairs. Yay, found them. Alright, next floor. Sixth floor we're on now. Okay, we got any enemy pokes? Yep, kill the pony yard. Die. 105 damage, nice. And I got a Zorua enemy. Rock Tomb! Alright, that worked out. Alright, seventh floor. We continue even deeper. Rock Tomb again. Burn. I'm not even gonna worry about picking up that box. Rock Tomb, the. Uh, damn it, which one stopped missing? Alright, uh, Pekka Berry, I'm gonna go eat that. Whoops. Wrong menu thingy. Oh, Pawnee Yard, die. Aha, glare. 
And we're gonna... Rock Tomb you! Got a crit tackle! Yay! And I grew to 27, and I learned a new move! Flamethrower, maybe, please? Ooh, Heat Crash, what's that? The heavier you are than the enemy, the more powerful this move gets, so it's kind of a gimmicky move, huh? Physical fire. Hmm. Uh, I'll take a chance on it. Let's replace Flame Charge. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I forgot Flame Charge and learned Heat Crash. I'll take a chance on Heat Crash. I want to see what it can do. Alright, why? Heat Crash! Very nice. Did some decent damage. Now we're gonna go up here and get some money. Alright, where are the stairs? Well, I'm not gonna find them up there. Uh, let's go over here then. And this big ass room got nothing. Uh, let's go down here. Nope, nothing over here either. Uh, nothing in that room. Go up. Oh, yeah, yeah, this again. Die, you stupid party yard. Ah, uh, we got another one incoming. Burn. At least I got one shot him. Hooray for being bug steel. Ah, stupid slumber trap. But hey, we found the steps. Eighth floor. Another pony yard kill. I got a rock tomb. Oh, how dare you. Heat crash. Uh, let's see. Burn. Burn. Alright, I got a vile seed. I'll hang on to that. And we found the steps. Oh, we got a pillow swine, too. Alright, let me hit this with a rock tomb. Dang it. There we go. Now followed by Heat Crash! Boom! There we go. Totter Orb. Confuse everything in the room. Gonna save that orb. And I think we're done. Or not. I don't know. We'll see. Cutscene time. You okay, Dunsparce? Yeah, I'm fine. It seems a little hard to breathe in here, but... You know, I've been thinking the same thing. Maybe it's because we've come up so high. Hmm, I wonder about that. I don't really believe we've come up as far up as that. Everyone, come take a look at this. They're... They're floating? The chunks of ice are floating in the air! That's not all. There are other things floating here and there. So that is true. Looks that way. We can't just chalk it up to a baseless rumor anymore. The legendary Great Crystal that has only been a story up until now. But, now that we've come here, it's finally starting to feel like it could be real. Huh? Did anyone else see something flash? Oh, it's reflecting the light back. What is this thing? There are more of them over this way, too. They're so clear and beautiful. Aren't these... Frisms? Frisms? That's right. They are an incredibly rare kind of treasure. Did you say treasure? That's right. But what a shock. I've never seen this many of them in one place before. 
Well, this discovery alone has certainly made the trip worth it. Isn't this great, x you? We're surrounded by all this treasure. <laughs> and they aren't just valued for their beauty, you know. x you, can I borrow you for a moment? Do you see that large opening on one end of the prism? Would you try saying something into that opening? Into the hole? Sure. x you tried speaking into the prism. Um... We are... The Blaze! Are the Blaze! The Blaze! Whoa! The prism kind of echoed? Oh! And now the clear part turned cloudy white! What is that? That white part? That is Axew's voice. Frozen in crystal. My, my voice? That's right. Now why don't you try warming up the prism? Warming it up? But how? You can try touching it or even just blowing your breath on it. The white crystal should melt. Go on, try it. Okay. <laughs> Axew warmed the frism. The frozen part of the frism began to produce sounds. Um... We are... The Blaze! That's Axew's voice! Wow. So it acts like a voice recorder. Is that really my voice? Sounds kind of strange. But these things are really cool. No pun intended. How about it? Now, do you understand why prisms are such special treasures? Yeah. I love these things. Let's take a bunch of them home. We can give, this, give some to Amoga for staying behind. Yeah. Good idea. He's gonna love this. Of course, it would be too greedy for us to take them all. But we should definitely take some. Well then, let's each collect one. This frism. What's up, Verizion? This frism is already white. It's true. That must mean it has a recording already. It probably just picked up the sound of the ice creaking or something. But we might as well check it out, right? Can I do it this time? Be my guest. Go ahead, Dunsparce. Thanks. Dunsparce warmed the frism. The frozen part of the frism began to produce sounds. I, I'll leave this frism behind me. This is a Pokemon's voice. This will be the record, record of my adventure. I've decided to leave this frism here as a rec record, proving that I reached this glacial palace. And I leave this frism and my voice for you. Um, so let's see. I'm really glad that I've come this far. Seeing solid objects floating in the air, standing inside a hollow glacier, and this fantastic palace of ice, it's been like a dream. Everything seems to sparkle here, and every last thing is amazing. This... this means someone made it here before us, doesn't it? Huh? Verizion? What's the matter? Verizion? Are you... Are you actually crying? What? Verizion's crying? The cool collected Verizion is... Umbreon... I... I know... This voice... It's Keldeo! What? Keldeo? You mean that Keldeo? The one who sent that letter saying you weren't friends anymore? But didn't let... But didn't his letter say he never went to the Great Glacier? So then why is this recording here? I don't know. Let's listen to the rest of the message, shall we? I see all that, but this adventure has definitely been one big trial after another. But the fact is that I can overcome all those obstacles to come here today. And this adventure of mine isn't over yet. I fully intend to keep traveling this path. To keep delving further into the unknown. If you are playing back this recording and listening to my voice now, you must be another adventurer who has overcome the challenges to reach this spot. And if you are, then you must also be feeling it. The same thrill of exploring what lies beyond an uncharted territory. What I am about to see and what you will soon discover, they may be the same thing or they may be completely different. But regardless of what is waiting for us up ahead, the heart-pounding thrill that wells up inside of us, that will never change. So I'm off. I wish the best of to you, fellow adventurer who might be listening to this message. That seems to be the end of it. I'm sure of it. That voice was Keldeo's. 
The Keldeo that I knew. The bright and friendly Keldeo. The way he used to be. So, Keldeo actually made it. To the Great Glacier. But I don't get it. What was the meaning of that letter he sent you? The truth is that I never even intended to go to the Great Glacier. I just wanted an excuse to get away from you. We aren't friends anymore. Just forget about me. Isn't that what he said in his letter? But if Keldeo really did come to the Great Glacier, could that letter have been a fake? No. The hoof writing in that letter. It was definitely Keldeo's. I think that letter was real. The Keldeo who speaks in this prism and the Keldeo who sent you that letter. No matter how I look at it, they seem like two totally different Pokémon. But if both of them are the real Keldeo, then it must have been after, after recording this prism that Keldeo changed. That's it. He changed after seeing whatever lies ahead. If something did happen to Keldeo, then the truth might be straight ahead of us. If we continue on our path, we may just discover the truth. Will you be alright for Izion? Yes, thank you, Espeon. I'll be fine. I'm sorry for making you all worry. Let's go ahead. Oh, Glacier Palace, ninth floor. There's still more to do. And we just happen to be right next to the stairs. So, 10th floor, here we come. Alright, uh, let's continue this way. There's a Choice Ribbon on this floor. I think Choice Ribbon, if I remember, bolsters your attack the more you keep using it. Or bolsters the crit ratio of it. So the more you use it, the more your chances of critting. Which can be nice. And we got a Reunion Cape. Uh, well, we got the stairs in this room. We're gonna take them. And we're done! Or not. Oh, we got a deposit box, so there's more coming up. Oh boy. Uh, let's deposit... Yeah, Reunion Cape. We're gonna deposit that. Um, we're gonna save... Eh, Blast Seed! I'm gonna deposit that for right now, too. Rockle Orb, I'll deposit that. Foe Hold Orb, I'm gonna keep that. That could be useful. Petrifies all enemies in a room. I'm saving all those. All Dodge Orb could be useful, too. Slumber Orb could be helpful. Uh, health Orb, I'll deposit one of them. All the Blast Seeds I'm gonna deposit for right now. Power Band, will deposit that. Trading Seed. Encourage Seed. It's, uh, that could be useful, too. I'm gonna save the rest of this stuff. Alright, let's continue ahead. Make sure my party's the same. Yes, it is. Alright, here we go. 11th floor. Who knows how much bigger this place is. Oh, alright, got a wonder tile there. Not gonna do me any good right now. God. Um, Rock Tune, slow it down. Slow down. Alright, there we go. Ember! Burn! Take down! Alright, let me heal up a little bit. Alright, nothing up there. I guess we'll go down here. Oh, we got another Max Elixir on this floor. And we got an enemy Pokemon up here. Let's see what we got. A Palpitoad! Um, Rock Tomb, slow it down. There we go. And now we're gonna go this way. Yeah, Rock Tomb's actually gonna be very useful with its speed dropping capabilities. Allows you to get a free hit off. And those could, that could be invaluable. Okay, you. Rock Tomb, go. Slow it down. Burn! There we go. Hey, I'll use a Max Elixir now, why not? I got so many of them right now. Make sure I keep my PP up. Oh, sorry about that. Could not stop that sneeze. It was incoming. Uh, oh, stairs. Yay. And 12th floor. 
And we got an item here, another Max Elixir. I'll give one to Axu, make sure he stays up on uh, PP also. So I don't need all these Max Elixirs, I got so many already. Alright, nothing up here. At least in that room, nothing there either. Another item. Another Max Elixir. Alright, hey, we found the steps. 13th floor. And we got more enemy pokes up here probably, don't we? Yeah, let's kill this guy. Rock Tomb. See if he comes up. Rock Tomb. Ancient power. Ember. <laughs> there we go. We won the fight. Alright, got any more enemy pokes up coming here or no? Doesn't look like it. Alright, here we go. Yes, let's push on ahead. Everything suddenly got dark. Everybody alright? Yeah, we're fine. I'm alright too, but... Uh, what was that? It sounds like something being dragged along. Everyone, watch out! Ah! That's a... I forgot the name of this thing. It's a ghost ground, I know that much. Whoa! It, it's huge. What is it? What is this thing? That noise must have come from this thing's feet dragging along the ice. They've got us surrounded. Oh, oh boy. Here they come. Uh... Okay, um... Well, let's... Let's start spamming those items. Uh, first let's do... Slumber Ore! Put everything to sleep! Uh... Okay, um... Uh... Alright. Now we're gonna do another orb. Let's do... Petrify all enemies! Go! Okay, um... I'm gonna throw a... Well, not a vial seed at him yet. Let's do... Uh, try to see here. Do petrify again. No, back. Get back in there. Hit the wrong button. Okay. Okay, um. They're bullying that Krygoniel down there. Uh. All dodge orb. I'm trying to enhance us as much as possible to make this easier. Uh, whoops, I got a minute. Let's get out of there. Let's uh, throw the vial seed at this guy. There we go. Now we can start dishing out some big damage. Uh, heat crash, go! Okay, um, let's do... I don't think I want to do that yet. Actually, let's get Dunsparce to... Start spamming Glare so we keep it paralyzed. And I'm gonna hit it with a Rock Tomb to slow it down a little bit. Alright, 
that'll work. Uh, now we're gonna do... Actually, let's just focus on taking it out now. Ember, go! There we go! Victory is ours! Phew! Looks like we managed to scare them off. Was that... wind? Wind? In here? This dome is completely covered in ice. Meaning we're basically indoors, right? So how could there be wind? Well, even if it is a dome, look at the size of it. Maybe it's natural that there's some air movement? I felt it too, that wind. It was just a faint breeze, but... Uh, and me! I felt like it was blowing toward the path ahead. Then I'd say that path leads to the peak. If we keep climbing up this path, maybe we'll find something. Let's check it out. Alrighty, they're gonna stop the video and like at the start of this cutscene. Ha 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 Dunsparce, you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Sorry for holding everyone up. Is everyone suddenly out of breath? Verizion! Uh, everyone! Why is it so hard to get any air? Why? I don't know. TK, you're okay? That's great. But no one else can seem to move. You've got to be kidding me. We finally made it this far, only to... But it's too... I just can't... Everyone! Well, folks, with that happening, I think we're going to stop it here and leave you to ponder what might happen in the next part. So stay tuned for Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gaze to Affinity for the 3DS Part 25. When we'll hopefully see what happened to our partner Pokemon and maybe we'll try to work our way further ahead and see what's going on. Anyway, see you then, peoples!